So today we are thrifting at Goodwill. So join me and see if we find anything cool and exciting. And red tags are on sale, by the way. So of course the first place we need to stop is the purse department to see if there's any brand name purses, anything interesting, anything nice, anything that's a good deal. And they had some very colorful purses, some nice ones, red, bright colors for spring coming here soon hopefully. And yeah, so just looking through, looking through, and I didn't really come across anything great this time around. They didn't have too much, so. And then I took a look at the boots. I always love a good pair of boots. And there were some pretty interesting ones, some really cute ones. I thought those are really actually cute for winter. Cute boots. And yeah, they actually had quite a good selection. Nothing that really caught my eye too much though. Um, and if there did, they weren't in the right size. <laughs> I did come across this Roots purse though. I thought this was actually kind of interesting. Um, it was actually really nice and not a bad price, but I already have a purse that's very similar to this, so I did pass on it. And then I went and looked at some of the adult books because I'm looking for a really good book to read. And so I wanted to check it out and just see if there's anything interesting to pick up. And then off to the kids' books, of course, because I have a kids' reading channel. So definitely have to look at the books. And actually, they had a really good selection this time around. Usually, I have a hard time with Goodwill with books, but they actually had a lot of stock and a lot of good books. So I did go through that and see what I could find for some future videos. So, oh, there was a Blues Big Pajama Party can't pass on that. I did find a Disney Minnie Mouse one too that I liked. So definitely stay tuned. Those will all be in future videos of course and anything else that I pick up today will be in future videos. And there was Diego. I believe I've done that already and that one I already did as well. So off to the next shelf and I found some Backyardigans ones that actually I haven't done yet. So I did pick up a, a couple of those Backyardigans books. Um, there's some Clifford, some Batman, and yeah, that a good variety. And then I came across this, but I thought this was actually kind of interesting. Zombie Apocalypse. I definitely had to go in this and see what this was all about. Different, like the cover there, that was actually kind of cool. Yeah, not a good book to read. And then I came across this really cute koala book. Baby koala with his fluffy ears and big round nose. Baby holds on tight as up the tree mum goes. Super cute. So sad with what's happening in Australia right now. My heart just breaks for all those animals and the people. It's very devastating. And now off to see some decor. pictures nothing that really caught my eye um, no mirror and then off to look at just some other little little wooden arts and crafts and some just some little knickknacks some bowls some plates nothing really too interesting there And we came to this end shelf with some pretty white. I like how Goodwill does these end shelves in different colors. So this one was the white shelf. And yeah, so there's some pretty cute things on there. And then off to kitchen wares.
came across these pictures. I thought these were actually quite interesting. They were kind of like abstract art. And I think they were done by a local artist. I'm not quite sure. I'm not even sure how much they were. I didn't really see a price. Oh, the price tag was way on top there. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how much they were, but I thought these were actually really pretty. Very nice. And just some other pictures. And then off to the candle holders. And oh, that was a pretty little angel. Just some more candle holders, candles. Not quite sure what this thing was. It was interesting. I don't know if it was part of a lamp or what it was. And just some more little vases, vases candle holders, some decor. This was actually really cute. It was kind of like a little a unicorn locker, but it uh, was locked. I couldn't get into it. And then it was, kept asking me for a special code, <laughs> which obviously I don't have, so couldn't open it. And here's the red shelf and some lamps. And they have this, I think this was a Scentsy, but I'm not quite sure. I was missing the top part, but it was really pretty. Then they had these other lights too that were really pretty. And now we're on to the black shelf. I guess black and gray maybe. Had some really nice items there. So yeah, so I really like how Goodwill does that with the themes, the color themes. Here's the brown theme. On their end shelves, they do all the color themes. Rawr, here's some animal print pillows. They were actually really soft, pretty pillows. And then off to the stereos. Not too much interesting there. It was nice and clean though, all those shelves. I was impressed with that. And then the furniture department and some random shelves. And I think that was some kind of a hutch. And just another, just a plain table. And some type of a ab roller workout thing. And then they had these old school desks. Those were actually kind of cool. And then off to the games and puzzles. And it looks like everyone has seen it because they all donated their seen it games. There was tons of seen it, so I guess everyone has seen it. So not too much for games or puzzles. And then they just had some random toys off to the side. Had this little robot thing. I'm not quite sure how he worked. And just some kind of random toys. And then off to the toy department. And I found this really weird. All the shelves with the toys in them were way up high, so kids couldn't even access them. So I don't know if they were having issues with maybe kids making too much of a mess, and that's why they put them up high. <laughs> Not quite sure, but I don't know how the kids are supposed to look at the toys when they're way up high like that. And then off to the men's t-shirts to see if there's anything interesting, any sports t-shirts, any Nike t-shirts. I like to go through them, see if there's anything I can pick up for my son. He's very picky, but um, sometimes I can find something good. And this was kind of interesting. I wasn't quite sure what that was at first, and then I was like, oh, oh, it's Mr. T. I pity the foul. That was kind of interesting. And a Washington DC shirt, best grandpa, and just some random white t-shirts, and some red ones. Yeah, just some random. That one wasn't too bad. Firefly one wasn't too bad. Portugal Nike t shirt. That one was actually quite nice. And it was actually on sale. Can you believe it? So it would have been half price. But um, yeah, no go on that one. That was a nice Texas one. Lots of orange t shirts. Orange, orange. Doesn't look like anybody likes their orange t shirts. Oh, Super Bowl champions. Who is going to be Super Bowl champion this weekend? see what happens and this was actually a really nice adidas shirt i found it was like practically brand new it was really nice and it was red tag so it was half price so 350 but my son hates the color orange so no go on that and i found a nice puma one that one was really nice it wasn't on sale unfortunately and it did have some uh, crinkling in the or fading in the title there so i passed on that one some of the letters were getting faded I don't know what that was and just 
scrolling through some of the darker ones and blue and black and yeah. And then I found these pads. These were women's pads. They were Puma ones, but they were $15. No go on those. Not for $15. They were nice though. And then some women's brand name sweaters. I had to take a look at that, see if there's anything good. Um, the designer label, I guess they call it. Designer label department where they can charge a lot of money for stuff. Um, but yeah, there wasn't too much. I did come across this Tommy Hilfiger, fi sorry, Tommy Hilfiger sweater. I thought that was actually pretty nice. I love the colors, but 850, so I just passed on that. And nothing too exciting there, so. And then I thought I'd take a quick peek at the women's shirts to see if there's anything in that department. That one was actually really cute for Valentine's Day coming up. Hearts. And just some random shirts. That one was kind of cute for summer. And yeah, just random colors, random shirts, random designs. Not too much that, uh, that I was interested in. I really liked actually this t-shirt. It was brand new with the tag still on it. And I really love the color for summer, but $7.50, if it was a red tag and half price, I would have bought it for sure. Cause I just love the color for summer, but yeah, not for $7.50. And then I came across this Old Navy one, which was half price, but I have one that's very similar already that has polka dots, so I passed on that. So now stay tuned, let's go home and see what I bought. So we're back home now and I just wanted to share with you my haul and the stuff that I picked up. So it looks like we got quite a few books. It was actually a really good day for books as you noticed in the video there. So I got a Disney Mickey, Bubble Guppies, there was a few Peppas, um, Peppa Meets the Queen and these hardcovers they're all two dollars and none of these Actually, nothing that I picked up today was on Red Tag and on sale, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so all the hardcover ones are all $2 and the softcover ones are $1.50. So like these Backyard Against ones, those ones were all $1.50. And I picked a Disney Mini one. There's a, a Doc McStuffins and a Blue's Clues. So lots of books. It was a really good day for books, so which was nice. And then the only other thing that I purchased was this cute little ceramic dog. Isn't he cute? He was a little bit on the pricey side, but I couldn't resist. Look at him. And he's, he's porcelain. And isn't he adorable? I think he's just so cute. So I think he'll be going into my office. I think he's just adorable. Super cute. Yeah, and that is about it. I think these thrift stores need to do some restocking. It might be just because it's right after Christmas and they're just low on stock. I'm not quite sure, but usually I come home with bags and boxes full of stuff. So hopefully next trip will be a little bit better and I'll have more of a variety of stuff for you. But thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and share and uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links will be in the description box below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the video. Um, I really, really appreciate all the support, um, especially with the, the FTC changes and COPPA changes. It's really affecting all of us. So yeah, so I really appreciate the support. Um, thumbs up, watching ads if you can. That really helps everybody's channel, not just mine. If you can do that, that's great. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.